The overarching goal of the program was to bring high quality instruction in a cutting edge field to students across the country and across the world. I think that data science is a field that is very conducive to learning remotely. And I think that potentially it's even, you can even learn more effectively and more efficiently doing it remotely than you can in person. I'm a father of four children. The program is nice because of its flexibility. So during the day when I'm not doing consulting work, I can get online, watch the videos, do the homeworks. And then in the evenings, I have time to spend with my family, have dinner, go to soccer practice. And I thought this is such a great time investment because nowadays with everything getting so automated, it's very crucial for everyone to have some background, whether it be in CS, data science, having programming knowledge definitely helps in finding jobs. The program offers students affordability. It's a $10,000 degree. It offers them flexibility. They can complete the degree from anywhere in the world at their own pace, and they get to learn from true leaders in the field of data science. The material in the classes seems like it's very cutting edge. It seems like we're learning the newest, latest, and greatest in data science. Data science includes probability and statistics, it includes machine learning, it even includes visualization. The UT Austin program had brought in courses from the statistics department, including uh, courses like causal inference, which is one of those courses which is super important, but is often not stressed in many other data science programs. The knowledge is very theoretical and it's also very applied. So there's five courses in mathematics slash statistics, and there are five courses in um, programming, so more computer science slash you know, data science-y. Everything is methodically set out, so week by week we get the material that's required for that week's assignments. Uh, some courses allow you to work ahead, some courses require you to stay on, on track with the rest of the class. Typically, these videos are 15 to 20 minutes um, covering a particular topic and are supplemented by exercises which could involve coding or could involve answering a series of questions, perhaps doing a reading. All the classes that I've taken have been rigorous in different ways. Uh, some of them are more rigorous on the math side of things, you know, proofs and that, that sort of work, which some people find very difficult. I personally find that pretty difficult. While others are, are more rigorous on kind of the algorithmic coding side of things. And it's a very nice balance because, you know, if you're more comfortable with the math part, you can take the math part first. If you're more comfortable with the CS part, you can take the CS part first. You can also mix it up. And they also have suggested plans of how to go through the program, how to navigate through the program. What I was really impressed with was the fact that there's always TA sessions available. So if I felt like the rigor was getting away from me, I could always meet up and talk to people about that. And then also in the TA sessions, you meet other students and you can start studying with them as well. And then there's, there are some offline channels as well that students have created. Uh, so through those channels, I have met a core group of students whom I've taken most classes together with and kind of are my study buddies. I've gone through all of my courses with probably the same half a dozen people who I've remained close to with respect to studying, contacting and probably will remain friends with them after the program is done. There are some people who want to start startups and they're getting this master's degree to have you know startup experience so you can like you know connect with those and maybe try to work on their startup in a way. There's such an amazing um, opportunity here because you meet so many different people, so many different backgrounds. It is definitely a graduate level program, uh, so it's for people who have experience in the field and um, are ready to take their skills to the next level. It's very rigorous. There are expectations, there are homeworks, there are deadlines, there are projects, and they're all reasonable. They're all either things that you'll see in work, there are either fundamentals you'll need to succeed in work. It's, it's a very reasonable program. Especially when it came to around exam times, I was really happy that you generally had a four or five day window in which you could take the test. So it wasn't like you needed to be there at a specific time and place. You basically had a two hour exam that you could take do at any time um, over the course of four days, which usually included a weekend. So you could usually find a way to make that work. I think having a master's degree, especially from a place like UT Austin, uh, is really beneficial just for, and for just opening up career options in general, or even for starting your own business, right? Just creates more credibility in the space. Yeah, you're somebody who has studied this stuff and really understands it and knows what you're talking about. I wholeheartedly recommend this program to anybody that is interested in learning about data science and its applications to a wide variety of different industries.